Hello everyone. The topic we shall be discussing today is general principles of food preservation. This topic is generally for students who are interested in food microbiology and is it is in accordance to the syllabus of BSc microbiology. So let's start now with the topic. Food is a very basic and essential term that is used in our daily life. It is something which cannot be eliminated from the life of any living organism. It is a substance which consists of the essential nutrients that is used by the body of an organism. It is ingested by an organism and assimilated by the organism's cells to provide energy, maintain life or stimulate growth. Now as we deal with the food, a serious problem lies with its spoilage. Since the human food supply consists basically of plants and animals or products derived from them, it is understandable that our food supply can contain microorganisms in interaction with the food. Food spoilage may be defined as any change that renders food unfit for human consumption. This may be caused by various factors like contamination by microorganisms, infestation by insects, degradation by endogenous enzymes. Endogenous enzymes are the enzymes which are present naturally in food. Hence, to prevent spoilage, we need to take proper measures to store the food products. Therefore, special methods have been used to preserve the food. Food preservation is the method by which food is kept away from spoilage after harvest, slaughter, or after cooking. Such practices date to prehistoric times. The chief methods of preservation are as follows. Asepsis or keeping out microorganisms, removal of microorganisms, maintenance of anaerobic conditions, use of high temperature, use of low temperature, drying, use of chemical preservatives, irradiation, mechanical destruction of microorganisms, combination of two or more of the above given methods. Each of these methods will be discussed later in the chapters uh, in the other presentations. Each of these methods are involved within the principles of food preservation. There are three different principles of food preservation. They are prevention or delay of microbial decomposition. Now within these principles, four different methods are involved. They are keeping out microorganisms, removal of microorganisms, hindering the growth and activity of the microorganisms, and killing the microorganism. The second principle of food preservation is prevention or delay of self-decomposition of the food. This involves two different methods. One is by destruction or inactivation of uh, food enzymes by using methods like blanching. The second method is prevention or delay of purely chemical reactions like prevention of oxidation by means of using an antioxidant. The third principle of food preservation is prevention of damage because of insects, animals, mechanical causes, etc. So these are the general principles of food preservation which are extensively followed in household, bakeries, or industries. Each of these methods need to be followed using proper protocol in order to get the desired result. Hope all of you have understood this topic. Thank you.